Hi everybody and welcome to Medicine for a Book Hangover. This um, episode is about my January wrap up and my February TBR. First, I'm going to start with my January wrap up, give you what I read and what I rated it, and then we'll pick my February reads. I have two that I'm already re already planning on reading. Um, the other two I need to um, pick for my jars uh, that I will be discussing when we get to that part. So, I read three books and listened to two. Um, in January. First, I read Eleanor Elephant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, and I rated that four stars. I thought it was a very different um, book than I'm used to. Uh, it is, takes place in another country, I can't remember now. Um, it takes place in Scotland, so the wording's a little, the speech is a little different. Um, they use different slang terms that I'm used to in um, American English, but um, I really, really liked it. It was, like I said, very different. Um, a lot of people thought it was hilarious. I kind of thought it was a little sad, just because Eleanor had a very rough uh, childhood. Um, and the things that she had to go through in her life, I just couldn't imagine. Um, some of it was funny because she's not... They never do say she's on the spectrum, but you can kind of tell um, that she may be. Um, so I really liked it. It was something different, and I'm going to check out more of uh, Gail Honeyman, Honeyman's books. I don't think it'll be a reread for me. That is why I rated it only four stars instead of five, um, because my five stars are usually definitely, I love this book. I'm going to reread it. It's going to go on my forever teeth. Uh, forever bookshelf like it's that good but um four stars i really like it but i don't think i'll keep the book or i borrowed this one from the library so i obviously wasn't keeping it but i don't think i'll spend the money on picking it up to reread it again um the second book that i read was um house and names by colm toybin uh, I read this book for our Books on Tap book club in the area. Um, it is ran by the um, local library system. Uh, one of the librarians comes to uh, Ernest Brew Works in Toledo and we meet for an hour or two and discuss what we read that month. Um, and the pick was House of Names for January. Um, this one was not a uh, favorite of mine at all. It was a three star. Um, I went back and forth on how to rate this because I kind of felt bad because at the same time I was reading Song of Achilles, which I'll tell you more about in a little bit. But, um, so I didn't know if I didn't like it because I was reading Song of Achilles at the same time. It was just too much Greek mythology or what, but mostly I think I just didn't care much for it. Um, a lot of it was skinned over. It was like, I hate to say it, but it was like a poor man's um, Game of Thrones. Like, the family acts a lot like the families in Game of Thrones did, and I don't know, it was just not done as well as I thought it could be. Um, it might be because it was under 300 pages. If they were able to develop the story more maybe I would like it but I just feel like a lot of it was skipped over and not edited like it should be it just wasn't um, a favorite for my for me and so the next book was Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and I listened to this um, on my Libby app audiobook um, and this was the the uh, read of the month for he Read, She Read podcast, and I love this book. Um, I gave it four stars. Um, I really enjoyed it. Fra uh, Fraser Douglas did uh, the narration, and he was really good separating each character's um, voices, and um, I really enjoyed that. It was fast-paced. It didn't, even though it was long on the longer side, I think it was like... Um, 
13 to 14 hours on 1.5 times um, speed and it just kept going it didn't like drag on about like all the history like oh this guy's this god and this they didn't do that and I really liked it and they really focused on Achilles and Protocolus and I really love the way that they portrayed their um, homosexual relationship um, from what I gather uh, it was kind of a just a thing nobody talked about but everybody knew that there are boys who boys and women who had relations with others and they still got married and things but I really enjoyed um, just reading something different like that um, and I'm used to reading about uh, straight couples and um, it was really out of my, not out of my comfort zone, but it was really just something different and I really liked it. Uh, so I definitely recommend Song of Achilles and I have not listened to the podcast uh, episode yet about, um, about the read along, um, but I plan on doing that this week if the kids ever go back to school. Um, but it was really, really good and I do recommend it. And my last book of the month was Sunburn by Laura Lippman and this was a book club read for my local mom's book club and this was another three star read for me. Um, we just came off of reading The Woman in the Window for our last read and it, it's supposed to be similar but not the same. Um, but it was like a thriller mystery and it just it didn't have, it just dragged and it didn't, um, I just didn't want to pick it up. Like, woman in the window, I'm like, I cannot wait till the kids go to bed so I can pick it up and read it. And this one, it just wasn't, uh, like that. And at first I really, I was like, okay, this could be cool, but it just was really repetitive and I couldn't. I didn't feel sorry for the main character and I didn't hate the main character, I just found the whole story annoying. Um, and I could say more about it but I don't want to uh, to ruin it um, because I will spoil it if I say any more um, because there's a lot of stuff about uh, her children in it that I don't agree with and it just, the whole thing made me angry. So. That is all the books that I read or listened to in um, January. And now for my February reads. First of all, my first book I'm working on, well, I'm reading one audiobook for the Novelty Classic read along on Instagram. Um, Bookstagram, I will tag, the, I'll put in the description where to find that. Um, it's ran by uh, Brittany from. Um, Brittany's Book Nook, I think. I want to butcher it. I can't remember now. I'll put it on the notes. I can't. I don't have it on me. Um, but I will put it in the description of how to follow along. Right now we're listening to Pride and Prejudice. Um, we're reading one book every other month. So in January and February we're reading Pride and Prejudice. March, March and April we're reading another one. We haven't picked it yet. We pick it at the end of February. So. And I am really, really, really loving Pride and Prejudice. I have about four more hours left. Um, again, I'm going to finish that hopefully this week. Um, and I will re uh, make a review for you guys and let you know how it was. My second book of the month is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, book five. And this is not my copy. I've been borrowing them from my friend. Uh, which thank you, <laughs> you know who you are. Um, I am on page 98. I put this down for a while to get the other books uh, read last month because January was a bit of a, of a um, catch up month for me. So I'm now picking it back up and I'm really liking it so far. I'm only 98 pages in, but I think this is gonna be one of my favorite um, Harry Potter books of the, se of the series. So that is my first, well second, um, book of February. I'm also going to read 
Sing Un Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward. I've seen this all over Bookstagram and all over Booktube, and it's supposed to be really good. It is less than 300 pages, um, and this is another books on tap read. If you're in the Toledo, Ohio area, or Maumee, or like any of the uh, area, check this book club out. It is the best book club that I have been involved in. Um, it's just, it's smart conversation. It's a mix of generations. We have older people in their 60s, younger people that are tw 21 and up. I just, I love the mix and I love the, the, just all the different walks of life coming together to talk about these books and having an opinion and it's just really, really good. Um, so this is actually um, March's read because I already read um, Jan uh, February's read which was um, Dear, Dear Martin by Nick Stone. So I already read that last year um, and I think I might have done a review on here. If so, I will put a description. If not, um, I'm sorry. But you can also check it out on my bookstagram also um, by the same name of this and I will put that in my description as always. But yes, this is going to be my third read of the month. Um, and hopefully it's a fast one. I heard it's really good. Okay, and then my series of the month. If you watched my last uh, goal video of my wrap up for 2018 and my 2019 goals, um, this is my, uh, my series jar. I want to read one series a month. Um, I've been working on the Harry Potter for a month and a half, two months since, well, since last year basically. So, um, but I want to pick out one more uh, and try to do both of them. If not, I will move it over to the next month. Um, but yeah, so we're going to pick this up. I'm going to shake it up. Open it up. Shake some more. And what is it? It is Darker Shade of Magic. Um, I read the first book. I have not read the second or the third, so um, I have to pick that up from the library. That's why I'm not going to show you guys today, but that is going to be one of my, my one of my goals this year is to finish the series that I started last year. Um, also, check out my last video for that. But um, so, Darker Shade of Magic is going to be my series book of the month. And for my standalone, and these all are all from, um, this is my, it's not going to show you, I don't know if it's going to show you or not, Shh, I'm Managing Mischief, my Harry Potter uh, glass from Enchanted Fandoms that I got. Um, I love this, and, um, and I thought it would be a neat glass to put on my new bookshelf from Christmas. And also to fill with all my standalone books on my shelves. Because I'm doing the Unread Shelf Project with uh, Whitney from the Unread Shelf on Bookstagram. And um, this is the way I'm going to get through them. I want to read at least um, one or two uh, unread books from my shelf each month. Um, so this is going to help. I'm going to pick one for this month because I have such a stack already of books that I want to get through. So let's shake it up, <laughs> mix it up, and pick, and dig deep into here, maybe. Put this down, and open it, and it is Songs of a hump Humpback Whale, which is, I believe, a Jodi Picoult book. Um, I read one of hers for a book club a long time ago, and my friend gave me two of her books forever ago, so that will be my final book of the month to read. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you've read any of the books that I did a wrap-up on, or the books that I am reading this month and want to discuss it, please leave a comment below. Check out my bookstagram, Medicine for a Book Hangover. Um, and, th and check out my other videos. I have reviews and, um, and other wrap-ups. 
and I hope to do more this year uh, for the series. Um, so yeah, thank you guys and have a good day.